Welcome back to You Can Do It. Today we're working on a VW T5.1, which is T5, 5.1 or T6. We're working on the rear brake light on the tailgate. I put the top high uh, tailgate light. Okay, so let's get to the chase. So look, I'm gonna try and do all this without taking the, the carrier off. But look, there's, you can see that the standard thing here is this starts to go, uh, the, the plastic cover starts to go loose, eventually comes off. Um, what I've had over there is actually a bit of clear, clear uh, tape over the top of that because actually these LEDs are actually red. Uh, but this has got a, another OOT to come through now. Um, so I'm going to actually replace this with a new one. So <clears throat> let's quickly get to the point. How are we going to change that? Now, the first things first, you need to... The covers are already off on here, but you need to take your trim off on here. So this isn't about taking the trim off, but they're usually push it on here so you need some trim panels to pop the trim off then you get to this point then you've got three torque bits here one two three which I'll, I'll undo now okay those three are out there so that's like that so now we can close the lid again okay look so then you have to dig in here and get this get this out it sort of without the cover on it it falls down there so it's a little bit fiddly as you can see by this, but you see you get that up there, get the end of it there, look, and pull that through like that. There we are. Now she's connected there. So let's just, oh, I need two hands for that. Let me just take this, this plug out of here. The way you get the plug out is by pulling that, pulling that little lever there down and make sure you don't let this fall back down in the hole because that'll be a bit on for the new one so there's, there's different ones out there. there's aftermarket ones and things but I've bought the original that's the original part number there uh, so I've bought the original one and I'll show you why I generally buy that one because that's the original one and the original one comes with the seal already on it mounted and some of the aftermarket ones the seal is separate but um, that's just another problem so I thought I'll just get the original one I mean they're only about 40, 40 odd euros 45 euros so what we can then do is plug that back in there and then get someone to stand on the brakes just to check it if that works then we'll uh, tighten it all up and when, as we tighten that up that uh, seals up there that's presumably why these are on like springs so that it doesn't uh, this doesn't Ping out when you're trying to put the screws in. I just put a bit of gaffer tape on either end there just to sort of hold that in loosely so that when I put the screws in from underneath it doesn't push it out. So they're up there now. Don't do them stupid tight but they are on spring so you know you can do them up. That's there like that and uh, that's it. She's all done. Get someone to push the brakes and just check those. I've done that. I've had someone do that. They all work nicely and you've replaced your rear light. It's worth doing because uh, if you leave it for too long, you'll get water coming down here and it'll go inside. It'll just cause more, more havoc. So, uh, yeah, it's worth doing. But it's a little, uh, little repair. One more, one done, a few more to do. If you like the channel, subscribe. Hope that's helped. Uh, so if you like the channel, subscribe. You can do it.